Hi, um, my name's uh, Peter Hudson, uh, founder of uh, YGA, and I'm here with the incredibly handsome Kendall White of uh, Instinctive Golf, which is shown here on the show. Uh, we're here um, um, at, uh, to see the, uh, the Creating Schools Revolution based on 20 years of, uh, of research. Um, and um, this is at the, the heart of some of the things that um, Kendall's been doing. And Kendall uh, has been coaching for 25 years. Or 40? Longer. 40! 40 years and um, worked with thousands of club golfers, um, numerous tour players, and a couple of our Ryder Cup heroes, um, as well as doing some incredible work with um, the youth development and uh, gaining fame and reputation, um, certainly in the UK, but I'm pretty sure internationally as well. Let's hope so. Anyway. <laughs> So Kendall, um, you haven't always uh, coached in this uh, instinctive manner. What evoked this uh, dramatic change in in the way that you, in the direction that you've been working? Uh, what evoked it, Peter, was my own personal challenges with my game. So I really kind of reached rock bottom in my own game, um, and, and despite being a busy coach and people buying into what I said. I was actually regressing as a player and I thought, this is bizarre, if I'm coaching what's actually killing me then it's not, it's yeah. not good for the pupils so yeah. long term. <laughs> and I knew that the game couldn't be as difficult as that and I knew I hadn't suffered the way I'd suffered in golf in any other sport I'd played so I thought there has to be something better, different and, and I set about trying to find that. So. And what triggered it really was reading Extraordinary Golf by Fred Shoemaker who's a, a gentleman who you've interviewed. Yeah and he literally opened the door to a new possibility. I stepped through it and have been for the last 20 years and it's not been easy. Um, it's been anything but easy. But we're starting to see the light and as you say we're, we're here at the Belfry in, in Birmingham to listen to one of the foremost experts in something that is directly related to what Fred and I and, and every human being on this planet actually calls upon when they're trying to develop and learn new skills and uh, so we're excited about today and yeah I'm, I'm excited about the future and hoping that we can help people develop their skills. Yeah I think that uh, you know it's amazing how that you know out of adversity because uh, as you know I was uh, my, my start really was working with Dennis and his adversity and how you, you, you know you, you, you come to learnings that you might not think were there just by that adversity so it's like somehow even heaven sent. So you, you know we've had this um, uh, this almost this information revolution. We've now got all these machines that are uh, measuring you know the golf the club head, the, the club face, the shaft. They're measuring the body. They're they're measuring what the the ball does. We've had these incredible uh, development of these modern technologies. Um, you, you know, do you think that these have been good for the game and coaching? I think they've been fascinating, uh, and they still fascinate me. Uh, I suppose when I was maybe starting this journey, um, lead had just begun kind of doing the, the, yeah. the Faldo thing and it was the first time we saw tripods and, and cameras at, at events. And of course everybody wanted to know what that was about. Yeah. We all bought a camera and slow motion and did every goal when we could and that analysis was maybe part of um, the challenge. But do you know what Peter, I, something I always ask the coaches but all these seminars we do and that is you know in our heart of hearts are people getting better mm. that's the bottom line yeah it? yeah do you know in our heart of hearts people are not getting better <laughs> somehow the game still seems elusive yeah so all this analysis and all this information doesn't seem to be getting to the essence of learning and i suppose that's another reason why i'm so driven to try and uncover that is it helpful you know i don't think it can be hindrance of its use Properly. Yeah. But how do we use it? I'm not sure we know yet just quite how effective, uh, the most effective way to use it. And is there anything more powerful than like a computer on top of our shoulders? You know, it helped yeah. us develop all these amazing skills to walk and talk, the most critical factors in our life without any computers or any analysis systems uh, and any measurements. I suppose to some degree it's how, how we actually sync this computer with those computers that may or may not be used. Yeah. No, that's a very sweet. Yeah, uh, and so where do you see coaching going in 50 years time? Uh, I do see a change, I really do. Uh, I think 
there has been, and now we're seeing people like Professor Gabriel Wolf almost producing research that's saying, guys, this is how we learn, and that might not be as effective. Uh, what we're going to listen to today probably backs up what I've been doing for 20 years inadvertently. I didn't realize that she was doing something on the other side of the, of the world, which really was mirroring what I was doing at the coalface. But yeah, I've seen a lot of, of um, change, and, and there are definitely more people out there. And even some of the comments that we'll see at the, the seminar today will almost back up from very, very high-profile coaches who are definitely looking away from how it looks to what it can produce. Because ultimately, it is skills that will win events and, and help people just enjoy the game, the ability to actually hit a golf shot with a kind of intent and a certainty and a trust that I can actually do it. And if I don't do it, it doesn't mean that I can't do it. I still know I can do it. So it's a bit like tying our shoelaces. We all know how to do it. Sometimes we don't tie them properly, but it doesn't undermine my confidence that I know how to tie a shoe. Yeah. So when a skill is really truly learned, I think poor shots can struggle to undermine that far more than the sticking plaster that I went through for 20 years. And I think there's some of the highest profile players in the world one that we know of very well, who are, are still looking for these little plasters that fall off and then they go for another plaster yeah. and that's what I was, you know, I kept looking for fixing this fault, that fault, the next thing. Yeah, I think what we're trying to look at and trying to, to help people towards is, is learning more effectively rather than gathering information yeah. more effectively because information is easy. There's, easy. There's, there's tons of it out there, that's for sure. But I still can't hit that high draw with a two iron. <laughs> so, uh, nor can I, because I've been away a long no. while ago. I never could. We'll cut. So, so look, look yeah, we know that, um, I mean, I, I, I think that, the, that we have to get to this place where we're in this, the, the, in this modern arena. We've got all these golfers wanting to play better golf and, and not, you know, so it's vital that um, we communicate what you're doing and, and people can see that. So, you know, how do, how do people start on this journey now? How, how do they find you? What, what can they do, um, you, you know, to connect to some of the information that you've already put out there? Yeah, and, um, now you'll find out how poor a businessman <laughs> <laughs> because that's not what drives me, and my wife knows that. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably far more selfish than I should be because I've, I'm tending to to run this or walk this my own in my own game just now, and then sharing that with people along the way. And as I, as I do that, it seems to gather its own momentum. You know, it's a bit like how did we come across each yeah, other? It's exactly. strange how that happens. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I think. What we're doing this weekend or this week with, with Gabriel Wolf and hopefully the, the ongoing things that will happen, the word will get out there and people will find it. I always, uh, I, I appreciate social media and the power that it can have, but I've got this kind of strange feeling that the people that are here today and the people that gravitate towards us are the people that should be here today and should be gravitating towards us and not necessarily people who said, well, that looks interesting. He can probably fix my faults rather than someday, you know, just the right people are here today, the people that should be here. You know, we would love to have hundreds and hundreds, and but we've got a, a, a nice group of people who are interested in learning, and that's ideal for me. Yeah, and you know, I totally agree with you. You know, I think that you, you know we 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 will be found by those people that are looking for something different. Yeah. We will be found. They will find us, and uh, and and hopefully, you know, maybe. This video and others like it will, you know, create the curiosity in people that um, they want to go. Thank you very much, Kendall. Look Thank forward you. to a great day today. Thank Cheers, Nick.